Welcome to Lego Tales, and this is a fabulous figure review, or comparison really, and this is, this is the Magneto review and comparison, this one we get 2014, this one we get in 2012, and those are the minifigures I will be comparing and reviewing today. As you notice, I have changed the background minifigs a little bit, I added Raphael in there a little, and Kai because I decided to have one almost out of every single theme I own. So right there is seven themes. I own more themes than that, but I thought seven was a good number to choose from there. But anyway, today's comparison is against these two Magnetos. And the winner of last, um, last week's comparison, which was the Wolverine comparison, was the 2014 Wolverine. That Wolverine won, and no one on YouTube, surprisingly, no one on YouTube told me which minifigure they liked best. So be sure that in, at the end of this video, you tell me which Wolver Magneto you like best. So anyway, in the last comparison on Fabulous Figures, um, I compared the two Wolverines, and the 2014 Wolverine won. So... If you don't agree with that, let me know in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's compare these two minifigs. Now, on the one on the right and is the one that we got with the 2014 X-Men vs. the Sentinel set. On the one with on the one on the left is the one we got with the Wolverine's Chopper Showdown in 2012. Both are very cool looking minifigs, but the 2014 one does come with his hair, which is a very very nice bonus, and even we do get his helmet still as well. But there is some minor differences with the two minifigs. There's the switch between colors. As you can see, there's a red cape on the 2014 version and the purple cape on the 2012 version. You can also see that there's a purple body on the 2014 version, but a red body on the 2012 version. Besides that, there are some minor differences like the little... Um, What's it called? Necklace piece on the top of their torsos and then the belts. And of course, this minifigure looks way more cut than this minifigure. I also like this minifigure a little bit more of this one because of the little belt piece we get right there and the purple hands. And I think he is more accurate to the movie version than this one is. But I could be wrong. But still, I really like this minifigure a lot as well. I mean, we got extra hair piece and it's nice to get a different Magneto, you know, probably in the... X-Men vs. the Sentinel said I would have liked to see another X-Men villain, maybe Nightcrawler or Mystique or any, you know, there's a lot of, of X-Men villains, Juggernaut, you know. I would have liked to see some more Lego villains besides Wolverine. I mean, I mean, besides Magneto. I mean, we did get a Sentinel, which was nice, but it's not that much. Anyway, let me take off the hairpiece on this minifig and look at the double-sided face that we get on both minifigs. This one is sort of a mad face. You can take a look. The 2014's mad. And what's the 2012? 2012 is mad as well. It looks like they have the same exact head piece. Yes, actually, both minifigs have the same exact face printing on both sides of the minifig. So they use Lego used the same exact head for the both Magnetos, which I guess was kind of stupid for Lego. I mean, they could have given them a new face, but I guess it's not that horrible. The face looks pretty good, but they're the same exact faces that are on all Magnetos. Let's put on the helmet on the mini face. As you see that the helmet is the same exact too, so really there's no difference in the headpiece or head mold any. There is no different face printing on either of the minifigs so they look exactly the same. Now the difference is when we get down to the capes and the torsos and the legs. I think that the one with the most detail is probably the 2014 version just because it has more lines on the torso. But the 2012 version probably has a lot of lines too so they're pretty close in there. The one that has more leg detail, neither of them have leg detail. So no adds cons or pros there. The hands are different, but on this minifig we have white hands and a white belt, which I actually personally like better. 
Let's look at the back torso printing on both of these minifigs. There is the back of this minifig's torso, and then there's the back of this minifig's torso. Personally, I like the 2012 back torso printing better than the 2014's. I think that 2012 is more detailed in the back than the 2014s. But it really, the decision comes up to you. So definitely tell me which minifig you like best in the comment section below. And in my next fabulous figure review, I will tell you the winner. Whether it was the 2012 Magneto or the 2012. 14 Magneto. So tell me which one you like best in the comments section below. And if you got an email of this video, Aiden, then email me back and tell me which minifig you like best. Anyway, my next fabulous figure review will probably be comparing the two Star Lords that we got with the Star Blaster Showdown and the Milano Spaceship Rescue. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you next time here on Lego Tales TV.